Hey, good morning everybody. It's uh, Sunday the 22nd of May. I'm at Helvey's Mill Shelter. It's about 0.3 off the trail and another 0.3 down to get water this morning. Or Actually, I went down last night. Uh, set up just before, well, set up just after it rained and right before it rained again. Rained all night last night. Um, we're all pretty wet. I'm soaked. Uh, my clothes are wet. I've got to put a, um, a wet t-shirt on here this morning to start hiking, but I'm waiting until the last second to do that. Um, broke a boot lace this morning. No problem. It was fraying. I anticipated that and got a replacement pair in, uh, in uh, Damascus, but apparently the eyelets are too small to feed it through. So a guy traded me his tennis shoe laces uh, for one of my boot laces and uh, so I'm not sure how long it's going to last. It'll probably fray pretty quickly. Um, the, the metal edges are pretty sharp for those tennis shoe laces. So uh, got to get some ordered from Loa apparently. So didn't anticipate that as well as I could have, but I didn't want to carry the extra weight for not knowing whether how long they would last. So I, you know, hey, just roll with the punches, right? Anyway, uh, a guy who was willing to pay it for it and traded me out his uh, shoelaces for my bootlaces, and uh, I can get hiking this morning. I got a long way to go. I'm trying to get to Trent's Grocery. Uh, it's going to be a long hike, and getting started really late this morning because of the the rain early this morning that kept us in our tents, and uh, me messing around for an hour trying to get bootlaces to thread that wouldn't thread. So, anyway, that gave me a little bit of time to to try and get uh, my tent fly up in the wind. Uh, one thing last night, I put my tent up. It was a little bit wet, but it was, you know, it was okay. And then I got the rain fly out, which was soaked and got in on. But uh, because it was wet on the inside, when it started raining real hard, it was then knocking the water off of the inside of the tarp and spraying me. <laughs> so I'm like, great. So that was a lesson learned. Dry off the inside of the tarp, if nothing else. So, all right. A couple of lessons learned from the trail. I'm going to to do a lot of hiking today. It's a beautiful Sunday day, kinda. The sun try is trying to come out. So uh, we'll see how things go. All right, time to hike on, bye. The trail this morning at a Helvey's uh, Mill shelter has actually been pretty nice. So I've been making some pretty good time. Objective is to get the Trent's grocery. There I can do laundry, take a shower, do a resupply, can move on to Dismal Falls to camp, or for $6, I think I can camp there at the uh, at Trent's Grocery. So it kind of depends on when I get there. Uh, slow as I tend to go, and as far as it is, may uh, also may be looking at it being closed by the time I get there. I hope not. Have to see how well this this path travels today. So, and uh, they're hopeful the rain will hold out. I think it's only 20% chance. Finally, it's starting to dry out. One of the problems with this mountain hardware shirt I have is that uh, that cool technology that's supposed to help cool you off when it gets wet. Well, that doesn't really help when it's 50 degrees with a little bit of wind. So I had to wait till the last second to put it on and then put my rain jacket on and uh, let my body kind of dry the shirt a little bit but uh, hey that worked anyway all right and uh, yes you can you can chew but not swallow the tea berry leaves to get that flavor one of the youtube folks uh mentioned that and i tried it Look at that. Sassafras. He picked that leaf and it smells like an orange peel. And I think they used to make right a tea out of the root. All right. Kind of glad the sun's out. There wasn't much sun yesterday. The day before is an icy cold wind. Thinking about holding off on shipping home some of my winter gear. I might might get rid of my smart wool 
bottoms and my extra mid mid-weight uh, Patagonia shirt. I've got a kind of a base weight Patagonia shirt that I wore this morning and I didn't even have to wear it last night but sometimes it's nice to have that second shirt when you get into camp. You've got a peel a wet layer off. I put that on with my puffy and that kept me warm so might just uh, send a little bit of bulk home. Those things don't weigh that much but they do take up room in the pack so I have not really enjoyed carrying six days worth of food and I notice on my planning guide I've got a six day resupply in uh, Pearsburg or Parisburg, however you pronounce it and uh, I gotta reevaluate that that was not uh, it was not pleasant carrying that much that much weight plus I went heavier on some types of foods um, more real food and not much dehydrated might have to change that up this time around if I'm really gonna have to do six days it might have to be a more more of a dehydrated mix of, uh, of foods so anyway some of the thoughts going through my mind on this Sunday uh, it is a beautiful day the birds are singing I love being out here Good, good variety of different kinds of trees and some evergreens here. Anyway, I'm thankful for my family this day. Thankful for having come from a, a good family, good parents. I should have tried a little bit harder as a son to be a little bit better when I was growing up. Mom and Dad, I know you're watching these, so I want you to know I love you. In many ways, I wish we lived closer, but we felt very strongly that the business we needed to start was there in Florida, so I know it's hard to, to not live close, but I do love you. Alright, so my brother AJ, start thinking about that, uh, that around the United States uh, motorcycle uh, trip that we need to do once you retire from your job I think it'd be fun might take some convincing of the home folk but uh, I think we should do it both uh, both AJ and I when we were teenagers we had motorcycles and we both had accidents on them and we both survived and are much wiser in our application of power He had a, uh, I think a 650 Kawasaki. At the time, that was the fastest street bike made. A two-stroke rocket. He had headers on it. You could hear him coming from a mile away. That was an awesome bike. Anyway, I'll uh, get back to hiking here and get my poles going. So I can make a little bit more uh, faster effort up these hills. See you later, everybody. Bye. Well, hey, everybody. Still Sunday, the 22nd uh, day. Ooh, is it 72? Oops, I forgot. I'll, fi I'll, I'll fix it. Anyway, um, just did 6.6 .6 in about three and a half hours. So, not too bad. Everybody's still flying by me, but that's okay. Uh, I get entertained at uh, sometimes how much of a hurry they seem to be. Some people just have longer legs and they're just strolling along. It's just fine. Some are just in a panic to keep up with buddies or friends. So, trying to drop that psychology myself. So. 
Anyway, heading on to Jenny Knob Shelter, and hopefully on to Trent's Grocery. Um, if I don't get anything at Woods Hole, and I have a limited resupply, so I better plan on maybe not getting anything at Woods Hole. I need, I think, two days to get to Parisburg, so I think right now, and maybe just a couple of dinners, maybe just some, like, just get some tortillas and some salami and some um, maybe some breakfast type cereal and uh, some peanut butter. The peanut butter is actually starting to starting to go down. I resisted, resisted, resisted the peanut butter because it was so heavy, but I do get a huge boost out of it, and it's got a lot of calories. It's got protein in it, and so I'll probably still probably kick myself by the end of the trail that I didn't start doing peanut butter sooner. But um, but the peanut butter honey blend is pretty nice. I'm enjoying it. All right, time to hike on. Bye. Well, there we go. 600 miles down, I'm, talking, I'm on top of Rushy Mountain. Not bushy, but brushy. All right. There it is. There'd be a beautiful view. Set the trees now. Our leaves are out blocking the, the valley down there. Time to start a descent. All right. Woohoo! I think I'll have lunch and celebrate. Coming down a really slippery trail, and it's starting to rain. <sighs> Been thundering and lightning all around me. Thought I was gonna hopefully be able to get down here to the bottom. You can see the mud. <sighs> Trent's Grocery is a half mile down the road. I wanted to go another two miles and not necessarily go to there. Don't feel like having to pay for tenting. But I'd really rather get my tent set up before I end up in the deluge. Oh man, God, this is slippery. <coughs> it's very uncomfortable this morning trying to get out of camp. I want to get on, I want to get hiking tomorrow by oh, no later than 8 if I stay at Trent's. So I'll have 15. Point eight to do tomorrow to get to Woods Hole. I called them to see if I could slip the date back, but they are full. And uh, now here it comes. Let me get up here in this grove of trees and take some cover. I'm gonna turn my phone off. Sorry, everybody. Hope you got a little bit of a view here. Sorry about the shaking, but my footing's not very, very secure. Right through here. You should have seen the down slope I came down. It was like you could you took a step and you slid three feet and you you have your poles in front of you. Take another step, you slide three feet. It was pretty wild. Boy, these things really smell good by the way. These purple flowers here. These white ones but the yellow center are pretty, but these really have a good smell to them. You can really smell them. That with the fresh rain coming down. It does have a little bit of a sereneness about it. Sereneness? How about serenity? Let's use the word serenity. I'm not sure if sereneness is a word. A little walk through the shire. In a minute, you expect to see a hobbit's house in the hillside. Okay, I'm out of cover. I'm gonna put my phone away. See you later, guys. Bye. Okay, I'm camped right down there. And this is a suspension bridge just for the hikers on the AT. And this thing is wobbly. Oh man, I'm getting a, uh, getting a little bounce going. Oh, now it's going sideways. That's not fun. All right. I don't want to drink that water. So I'm going to have to find a water source because I've got half a liter. <laughs>